Did you know that your website, it could be blacklisted? It might have red flags against it. It could have a bad reputation. And this is all without you doing anything wrong at all. The thing is, when we start a new website on our hosting or set up a new server, well, that server has an IP address that could have been used in the past with some dodgy website. Now, imagine you set up your website, you get new hosting or you spin up a new server and you put your website on that server, on that hosting. But what if that hosting, that server, it had an IP address that used to be used way back for some dodgy site, like something like a scamming website or a hacked website that did and put out a lot of malware or even like a dirty website. This can affect your site today by creating some blacklists and some red flags and hurting your overall reputation. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how to check for it, what to do if you do find out that, hey, my IP is, you know, it's got a bad history and how to go ahead and protect yourself going forward. The first thing you gotta do is find your IP address. You gotta go into your hosting and find it. Back here, I got Hostinger and navigated around a bit, but I was able to find it right over here. And your IP address will look something like this. Now, if you can't find it, like I did go through my Elementor hosting and I couldn't find the IP, in these situations, just reach out to support and ask them, hey, what is the IP address of my site? After you get it, well, you could just do a Google search and you would search IP reputation checker. So you could do that and you're gonna get a lot of different platforms that check for IPs. I already got a few of them here, the ones that I use. I will leave a link to all of these inside the description of this video to make it a lot easier. But I'm gonna go over here, let me copy this IP over here. I'm gonna go paste it in here and go ahead and hit check it out. And while that is checking it out, I'm gonna do a few of them. I'm just a type that got a bit of OCD, so I like to uh, be extra careful and check out usually three or four. All right, and let me, oh, I gotta do that captcha. Oops, is that it? Okay, cool. Now let's go take a look at the results. Woo, oh my gosh, okay. What is the same right here? Reputation issue detected. This IP address has been detected as a proxy connection, which could be hurting your IP. Suspicious IP, okay. Well, I was not expecting this to happen, but this one right here I found is very sensitive. Uh, I've had some being flagged just because they were brand new. In fact, what we want is a brand new IP. So that could be the case, but this is saying that it's just a proxy connection. It is showing though that it's not on any blacklist. So even though it's saying suspicious, it's not saying it's bad. Let's see what happens when we perform a full lookup. Okay. So, all right, nothing found for the spam report. It's proxied. Now this one's showing a proxy VPN detected, which is strange because I'm not using a VPN. And look it, I'm not like server level type of developer and this is not my expertise. I'm a web designer and front end developer. Uh, if something feels off, I'm going to go straight to uh, my hosting support. But right here shows it's low risk. It looks like it's just a proxy. Uh, no spam found, so that's good. Now let's go take a look at the next ones. Now this one right here shows uh, sender IP reputation neutral. All right, there's nothing right here. There's no block list, so it's not listed on anything bad right here. If we look, it just shows neutral, no block list. This is good right here. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for the block list. Let's go to the next one, okay. Here we go, the IP has only recently started sending mails and therefore still has an unknown reputation. Risk level suspicious. You would think this is bad, right? The thing is, this is actually what I wanna see. I wanna see this is a brand new IP. It's a good thing to have a new IP. Let's take a look over here and, 
Okay, detections count. We got zero out of 82. So look at it, it's good. It's not on any blacklist. It doesn't have any flags against it. And right now what we're getting, and I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting, cause I didn't test this before. We're doing all this live right now. I wasn't expecting those suspicious notifications. Now I have tested my own IPs and I have gotten some of those suspicion flags but that does not mean the website is flagged it means that the ip is brand new that was it and that is what we're looking for in fact if we go over here we could see that everything is set up right now this is what hostinger they have the proxy on it you know they have it set to true uh not sure what that means but i'm sure if it was bad it would probably be red this to me looks like a very good brand new ip address something that i am happy to have and hostinger is a good host so i do expect this kind of level from them and here's the thing some hosts are known for having and reusing bad ips now if the ip is bad it should be junked but some of them still repopulate and reuse those bad ips this looks good right here to me i have though been on the other side where i've tested an ip one of my own servers and the ip came out and turned out that it was on a few blacklists i had no idea the ip was dirty it was a dirty ip so in that situation what i had to do was i had to spin up a new server and i had to migrate the sites over to it and now what i do is every time i do start a new server i always check the ip first this way i could prevent any harm coming to my domain the ranking uh emails that are being sent out the things that these blacklists can affect I want to prevent that from the jump start. Also prevent having to do a bunch of extra work with the migrations. If you are comfortable managing your own servers, you're using something like Cloudways, Run Cloud, these are what I'm using. Well, you can spin up a new server, test that IP on the new server out, see if it's clean. And if it is, migrate your sites over to it. But if you're not comfortable doing something like that, or if your hosting doesn't allow something like that contact your hosting providers you need to contact them you need to get in touch with their support right away and any good hosting provider with decent support is going to help you to fix it they're going to spin up a new server for you but if you do have a hosting provider and you cannot get in touch with their support and their support is unwilling to help you you got to leave them look at here's the thing when it comes to hosting there's good hosting, there's bad hosting. And bad hosting is gonna have a very, very negative and costly effect on you and your websites in the long run. You want to avoid them and as soon as you identify your host as being a bad host, run, get you a good one. This is the reason why I promote only really good hosts that I know support is gonna be there to help. Now I use Cloudways, I use RunCloud, I use Hostinger. These are my go-tos. Get good hosting. That is the key and the secret to fixing these issues if they come up. I'll leave links to those inside the description. Well, I hope this quick tip of the day helps you out. I hope that it helps you protect your site. Let me know too, do you have any tips for protecting websites when you start them off? Or has this happened to you? Let us know inside the comments. And that's it for this video. Also, don't forget to do all that good YouTube stuff. You know, like and subscribe. Also share this one because this one, this is one of those things that, I mean, for myself, I didn't realize how important it was. I didn't even realize that I needed to do this until I found out, I heard from somebody else. I went and checked my IPs and I had a bunch of servers. One of them was flagged. I did not know it. It had a bad history. So I had to clean that up. So share it. Let other people know what to do. And that is it for this one. Well, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll be back again with some more helpful tips, WordPress, design stuff, you know, all that good stuff. See you soon.